Hi everyone, welcome to Body Tony class. My name is Coach Sivi. So for this class, we need a mat and a pair of light weights. Uh, if you don't have any weights, you can just use like me, water bottle. Just fill it up with water. Before we start, uh, during the session, if you find any of the movements a little bit uncomfortable or if the intensity is a little bit too high, feel free to regress, slow it down, stop if you need to. And importantly, if you're not feeling well, please do not join in for the workout. This whole video is brought to you by our Tempinist Hub. Okay, we're just gonna put the weights at the side and we're gonna start with our warm up. So from here, what I need you to just kind of match it up. I'm right, gonna do a little bit of mobility warm up. So from here, just match it up. Now listen up, shoulder roll to the back. Just keep it nice and easy. Just lift up and roll it to the back. Now roll it to the front. Right, last few. So this whole warm up is just to kind of warm up your muscles, get your body nice and ready. All right, listen up. Just gonna do a heel pack. Let's go right and left. Just to be physically present as well. Last few. Four, three. Now listen up. I'm gonna do a tap to the side. Tap. Just kind of shift. So, have an idea of weight transfer. So, you don't have to go too deep, but just have a full understanding of shifting your weight to the other end. Alright, listen up. Gonna, this, this time, we're gonna reach our arms to the front, both arms reaching out. So, on the outside leg, the knee bent, and the inside leg, the straight. We're gonna go four more times. Four, three, two, one. Now I'm gonna go nearly up, right and left. Here. Just slowly engage your core, drop your knees up. Now this time, bring in a little hug close to your chest. A small hug just to open up your shoulder blades as well. And around your back. Alright, this is up. Kick it out. Now this time for push. Keep the leg straight out. Warming up your knee joints. And slowly get your heart rate up a little bit. Last few. Four, three, two. This time, come forward. Kind of travel a little bit more to the front. And travel to the back. Try again. Bring it to the back. Now give me a step. Leg curl. Step curl. Start activating your hamstring. Bring your heel closer to your butt. So the song is pretty nice and easy. Just to get your body nice and warm. Now pull your elbows in to the side. Warming up your back. Or upper back especially, squeeze the shoulder blades close together as you squeeze it back. Let's try again. Eight more times. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. March it up. Alright, just keep on marching. Now keep your legs wide. Now listen up. You're gonna go to a tap. Let's lift your heels up. Toe tap. Shift your body side to side. Now, a little rotation on your torso. Turn your whole body. Now, keep your elbows up. So your shoulders facing on the other side. Twist a little deeper. If you can, try to look to the back slightly. Now, change it up. Reach your arms up. Lengthen your arm. So once you bring up, keep your arms up. You can slowly feel your heart rate going up a little bit more. Now this time, both arms up. Drive your arms up high. Last few. I'm gonna go four more. Four. 
much it has. All right. Now we're gonna do a little mobility around your arms. Keep your legs wide. Now we're gonna circle their arms. Circle their arms slowly. Up and forward. Up and forward. Circle your arms. You feel your shoulders a little bit tight. Then this is the best time to kind of loosen them up. And one more time. Reverse, both arms to the back. Keep your knees soft as you do this. Last two. We're gonna go one more time. Now open up your arms, you gonna go open and hug. Now scoop your belly button in, tuck your tailbone forward. Last few. All right. Okay, we are done with the warm up. We're gonna start with our first workout. We're gonna not gonna start with any weights first. We're just gonna do basic squats. Keep your legs about shoulder width apart. Point your toes slightly to the front. And from here, you're gonna place your hands to the side. You're gonna go down and you're gonna bring it up. You're gonna go two down, two up. Down, down, up and up, down, down, so bending your knees, so we're working on the lower body, working on your quads, which is your front thigh, your hamstring, your bum, and now once you're ready, you can lift your arms forward to the front, so keep on moving, stay still watching me, I'm just going to show you from the side, push your feet back, I'm going to squat, Pull to the beat. Drive your hips back. Try again. Now this time, gonna go three squat down. Three, two, one. Quick up and again. Three, two, one. Quick up. Take your time. So squeeze right at the top, pushing your hips forward. Try again. Keep your chest up. Nice and proud. Exhale, breathe in. Exhale, right to the top. One more time. Now give me four counts down. Four, three, two, coming up. Four, three, two, uh uh. Don't go up too fast. Nice and controlled, coming up. Four. Three, two, try again. Look at me, don't look down, unless it's money on the floor. <laughs> try again. Sink it down. These legs. You gotta feel it as you squat it out. Try again. Feel the load coming down, and then you try to push the weight through your heels. One more time. And coming up. And now bring your feet together. So the squat, tap, squat, up. I'm gonna switch over. Just watch my count. Once you're ready, join me. Step, squat. So a little bit wider on the squat this time. So feet kind of 45 degrees. Open, down, up. There you go. So we're gonna sink your hips down. Keep your body upright. For this one, you don't really have to sink it down by looking down. Open, body upright. Last few. One more time. All right, listen up. We're gonna go down and up, single time. So cross right in the middle. So still bracing your core as you squat down and up. Last few. Four. Three. Two. One. Alright, good job. You're gonna grab your weight. You're gonna add a little bit of combination move. 
from here. Pull the weight. I'm gonna go back from the top. Feet slightly narrow, not too wide. Now, this time, you're gonna place your hands, your waist right close to your shoulders. I'm gonna squat it down. Give your core tight. Two and two, two down. Down, down, bring it up. And again, down, push your hips back. So it's adding a little bit of resistance. And now watch my add on. I'm gonna bring it up and going down. Press up. It's a shoulder press, palm facing in. Exhale. Bring it down and coming up. Keep on moving. As you go up, you lift your arms up, extend your arms right to the top. Last few. So you get a beat, not too fast. Now this time we're gonna go for come down. Four, three, two, one. Coming up slow. Four, three, two, one. Bring it down. Four counts down. Four counts up. Four. Three, two, try again. Woo. Drive your hips back. We're gonna go one more time. Bring it out. This time, one and one. Gonna go down and up. Breathe in, exhale to the top. So the focus is muscular endurance. Light to moderate weight, more repetitions. Keep on pressing up. Eight more. Eight. Seven. Woo. Six. How are you feeling? Last few. We're gonna go two more times. Remember, tuck your tailbone in. Now this time, down and hold. And pulse and walk. Three, two, one. Quick up. Three pulse up. Three. Two, quick up. Three, two, one. Bring it up. All the way. So stay low, bottom half. Woo. Chest up, look to the front. Try again. One more time. All right, and relax. All right, shake your legs up. How's everybody feeling? You should gradually get your heart rate up. All right, this time, you gotta step to the side. Feet together. With your weight, hold right from your chest. You're gonna step and squat. Step, squat, come back. So, wide knees, body upright. There you go. Last few. So it's like an active recovery. You don't stop totally. All right. This time, bring your hands up. Squat down. Hands to the side. And again, step, squat. Alright, this time, single time. Squat, sit together. Alright, this time at the center, adding on. Bicep curl, right at the center. Elbow stick to the side. Palm facing forward. Option, you can bring your palm facing in. You can do a hammer curl. I leave it up to you. So bring your palms closer to your shoulders. Still keeping your body upright. So it's a combination movement, it's a compound movement. You're working multi-joint movement from your legs to your upper body. Try again. So when you're working more muscles, your heart rate will go up. Last few. Four. Three. Two. Well done everybody, we're gonna move along. 
put the weights to the side. This time, it's called lunges. I think most of you know what's lunges. We're gonna break it down. Keep your legs slightly apart. We're gonna step forward. So I'm just gonna move back so you all can see me. All right, you're gonna step your right foot. Step, back heel, down, up, come back, switch. Step, back heel on the floor, bend both knees. Try again. So make sure your front knee, you're not going to be on your toes. And back heel is off the floor as you bend. Option, you can place your hands to the side just to get a little bit of balance. Step, down, up, come back. Try again. Step. Woo! So from here, take a deep breath in and exhale. If at any time you are unsure where to breathe in, when to breathe out, as long as you breathe regular breathing, that's all you need. One more time. Let's go, last two, last two, let's go two more. Step down. One more time. Now, step your right foot to the front and hold. Stay. Position yourself. Make sure both feet pointing to the front. So point to me. Hands by the side. Ready? Gonna go down. Two and two. Up and up. Follow me. Down, down. Bring it up. Two comes down, two comes up, and again. Now this time, four comes down, four, three, two, back leg, leg, almost touching the floor, so don't come up too quick. Try again, four, three, two, coming up slow. Now this time, give me three down, three, two, quick up. I hope you guys are sweating, because I am. <laughs> and last few. One more time. All right, and relax. We're gonna switch over to the other side. Get the leg. Step the other foot to the front. Check your position. Both toes pointing to the front. You can place your hands by the side. Back heel off the floor. Ready? Two and two. Down, down, bring it up. And again. Down, down. So remember, bend both knees back, heel off the floor. So you should feel on the warm on your legs. Even if it's slow, do it nice and controlled. So even if you do slow movement, Every inch of your muscle fibers are working. Now we're gonna go four, three, two, coming up slow. Four, three, two, try again. Down, coming up. Change the rhythm. Three comes down. Three, two, quick up. Woo! Breathe in. Exhale up. One more time. All right, everybody. Coming back, shake your foot up. Gonna grab the weight. So from here, gonna go back to lunges. Right foot to the front. Left leg to the back. And from here, we're just gonna go lateral weight. Palm facing down. Keep your elbows slightly soft. So even if it's straight arm, don't lock your elbows, keep it soft. And how far you should go, how far should you go? Parallel to the floor. Palms down. So we just stay in this position first with the lunge. Don't bend both knees yet. Just lift the heels up. Because we're gonna do the combo. Up and down. Show you the combo later on. Last two. Two more. 
Now, ready? What we're gonna bend, both knees down and up. Down and up. Drive it up. Your body up right. Woo! Your shoulders should be feeling it. You're gonna go eight more times. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One more. Alright, and release. Shake it out. Shake your arms a little bit. Then you switch over to the other side. Step your left to the front. Both those pointy feet to, to the front. Now, ready? Back heel. Only your arms. Let your wrist. And down. Up and down. You get a beat? Raise it up according to the beat. Add some musicality in it. Breathe in and out. Inhale from your exhale. You can shake your head a bit. <laughs> Try it. You should be feeling on your shoulders. Ready? Adding on. You're gonna bend your knees. Lunge and lift. Down and lift. Remember back heel off the floor. Palms down. Let's go. Eight more counts. Eight. Seven. Drive your chest up. Don't look down. Last four. Four. Three, just two more, and one more. Woo! Good job, everybody. Gonna move along, gonna rest it out a little bit, shake your foot up. Gonna go next up. This is called a daily. So, legs slightly narrower, about like two feet away in between your foot. So, from here, palms in. You're gonna kind of slide your weight to your legs, to your thighs. So from here, you're gonna hinge from your hip. So watch me first. Core tight, chest upright, neutral spine, hinge, and bring it up. So this is called a date lift. Keep on going, watch it from the side. Eye knees to the front slightly. Pull your belly button in. So you see the weight, you kind of slide to your legs and keep me on part side. So I don't want to say this because you are really working on your lower body keep it on your back. So really as you come up, push the weight from your heel. Keep on going. So kind of get the idea. And this is called a date lift. So make sure your shoulders are still pull back. This time, we're going to go three comes up. Three, two, quick up. Push your hips forward. And drop it up. Try again. So feel free if you want to change to a slightly heavier weight. Go ahead. I know probably if you see this video, probably if this is not your first time, you want to progress. Go ahead. Change up the weight slightly just to kind of overload. Now this time, four comes down. Let's go. Four, three, two, slow up. Four, three, push your hips to the front, kind of tilt. And come up. And this time, we're going to go single tap. Down and up. Last few. You're gonna go. One more and hold. Now bring your palm facing in. We're gonna go on the roll. Still hinging from your hips. You're gonna roll. Elbows to the side. Bend at 90 degrees. Keep your knees slightly soft. Keep on going. I'm gonna show you from the side. So pull your elbows, drive it up to the ceiling. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. So this is what you on your upper back. There you go. Feel free to switch up 
the weight if it's a bit too heavy or you can go the other way. Now let's go out. Let's go three, two, one, and down. So three pulse at the top. Try again. One more time. And now I'm gonna bring it up. Walk down. And you're gonna pull and up and stay. Ready? Try again. Watch. Down, down, up, up, down, down, and bring it up. So two counts of it. Down, reach, up, and down, and body upright. Try again. Bring it down, lift, down, and then coming up. So two count down. Two count down. Roll. And pull it down. And pull it up. Try again. Hinge it. Elbows up. Coming back down. And now this time, single time. Down. Up. Coming up. Yes. Keep on going. Hinge. Roll. Come back. Try again, so hinge it, roll, slide it up, push your hips back, last few, one more time, and shake it up, just shake your hands, shoulders a little bit, we're gonna change it up, we're gonna do a tricep kick back, so come your hips from the hips, back again, from here, you're going to bring your arms up, elbows like into a row, turn from the side, you're going to extend your arms up and down. It's called tricep extension, a tricep kickback. Squeeze it. Feel the squeeze. The tricep is your back arm. Keep on going. Make sure you're still hinging from your hips, so I don't want to be seeing this, because this will be a bicep curl. So your gravity should be, when you're hinging forward, you drive it to the back. So your eyes do not have to look up. You can just kind of get your eyes slightly to the front by keeping your neck neutral. Take a deep breath in and exhale to the top. Squeeze it. There you go. Now we're going to add pulses. Ready? Let's go. Pulse it up. Three, two, one. Coming back. Three, two, one. If you see from the side, how to pulse. Three, two, one. Coming back. Woo! Let's go seven pulses. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Try again. Don't drop it. Two, one. All right, good job, everybody. Then move along to the next one. From it, keep your legs wide. All right, easy. We're gonna go bicep curl with your palm facing forward. We did bicep curl just now, so we're gonna do it again. Now we're gonna curl, curl up. Bring your palm facing up and bring it closer to the shoulder. Woo! There you go. Now we're gonna add a little bit of stability challenge. Still maintaining in the bicep, so bring your feet together. Breathe in and out. Just kind of get your biceps ready. Last few. All right, sweat is dripping right to my nose. Okay, now this time, I'm gonna bring your right knee up. Bring your right knee up. Palm facing forward. So if you're sweating a little bit, that means you're doing the work. Palm facing forward. Shoulders pull back. All right, this is where we're gonna start engaging our core. Single leg, bicep curl. Lift, take a deep breath in and out. So challenging your stability. So your whole stabilizing muscles from your core is worked. Just to stay in this position and doing and executing the bicep curl. Exhale, breathe in and out. Good job. Last you. It may look easy, but once you do it, you can 
feel a whole body shaking. Last few. Four, three, two, one more. And slowly release. Alright, good news. We got two legs, so you gotta switch over. Now, bring the other leg. Flex your foot, palm facing forward. Bicep curl now. Not gonna waste any time. All the way. Bring it up close to the shoulder. Right in. Now guess what? We're gonna go eight more pounds. Eight more. Eight. Elbows stick to the side. Active. Last four. Four. Three. Don't drop that leg down. Woo! All right, shake your foot out. Shake your legs out. Right. You can have a quick sip of water. You gotta grab your mat and gonna come back. Wait for me while I grab the mat. Slowly grab the mat. I'm gonna get down to the floor. Right. Hope everybody's feeling okay. We're gonna move on to this next one. From here. Good news, you're gonna lie on your back. Your body facing up. Alright, this time, you're gonna bring your palm, a bad knees, bring your palm facing in with the weights right above your chest. So it should not be above your head, it should be right above your chest. So if your chest is here, bring it up right above your chest. So you're gonna start with a chest slide. So you're gonna open up your arms right to the side. Alright, we're gonna take it slow. We're gonna go two palms down and then we're gonna open up, keep your elbows off and come up, squeeze. Open and close. Open and close. So this is called a chest line. Really squeeze right to the top. And again. And exhale to the top. Take a deep breath in, open up, chest. Almost there. You gotta go one more time. Now listen up. This time stay up. Just a breathe. Lift and down. Up. Drop your weight up towards the heel and coming up and down. So this is called a bridge. Working on your glutes and your hamstring. Now adjust your chest by single time. Open and close. So if your weight is too heavy, change it up. Make sure you get the right one so you can go a little bit faster on the tempo. All the way last few. Four, three, two, one. Give me a three four times. Four, three, two, one more. Four chest slide. Good. Four and four. Four bridge. Drive your hips up. Really drive your hips up. Last two. One more time. Four and four again. Open and close. Four bridge. Right to the top. Exhale. Breathe it. Squeeze the glutes at the top. One more. Now watch me. Open, close, one bridge, and down. So it's alternate. And bridge up. Drive your hips to the top. There you go. Sing together for the moment. So working on the chest, your legs, your glutes. And again. One more time. Now this time, stay up on the bridge and hold that pulse. 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 So drive your hips up. Push your hips all the way to the top. While your arms still right to the top, right above the chest. So you're not using your arms to assist you when you do the bridge. Seven more pulse. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Up, hold and stay there. Woo! Hold it here and slowly 
you bring it down. Place your hands to the side. Just kind of rotate your wrist. Just to kind of loosen up after holding the weights for a long time. All right, this next up, we still gotta grab the weight back. This is called a pullover. Now from here, bring your hands up, palm facing in. Same thing like just that, but this time, you're gonna pull all the way to the back. Straight up, watch me. Back and up. Bring it back, almost touching the floor, and then you drive it back up. One, two, are ready? Follow me, exhale to the top. So really make sure to raise your core. So I want to see an arch back. So try to make sure your back is planting down right to the mat. And still maintaining the belly button full in, back. And ooh, there you go. So this is working on your back, your upper back, and even your arms. So mainly it works on your legs and also your triceps as well as your secondary muscle. Bring it to the back. And guess what? We're gonna do a little bit of add on. Gonna bring it back. Now watch me. Gonna crunch and bring it back. And crunch. Woo! You don't have to go too high. Just do just small enough to activate your abdominals. Try again. And exhale to the top. Last few. And now, from here, bring your hands to the side. Right, shake your hands up. Just to shake your wrist a little bit. We're gonna go back to the dumbbell pullover. Okay, this time, we're gonna change a little bit of the tempo. So bring your weights up. We need to pull it back. Two and two first. Up. And really bring it back. And bring it right above your chest. Without the crunch. And try again. And now bring it back. Bring it back. And now gonna crunch up, pull there, and gonna go up, 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 and down. I'm gonna bring it back, crunch up, and pulse at the top. Three, two, one, and down. So it's a three pulse at the top. Crunch up and pulse. Three, two, one, and down. Drive it back. So working your abdominals as well. Try it. Exhale to the top. Three pulse. Three, two, one. Lift. Coming up. Pulse it up. Three, two, one. Last few times. Drive it up. Three, two, one. You gotta go one more time. Last time. Three, two, one, and slowly release. Lace it to the side. Shake your hands a little bit. Right. How's everybody feeling? I hope everybody is good. Right, this next up from here. You're gonna place your hands right to the side. And finish this up with a little bit of core work. From here, bring your legs up. Straighten your legs. Doing this is a little bit challenging. Regress. Feel free to bend your knees slightly. You can stay in this position to work your way up. Then extend your legs up. You're gonna go single leg. You're gonna lower it down. Hands by side to support. You're gonna go four, three, two, one. Coming up. Slow and control. Switch over. Four pounds. Four, three, two. Coming up. So make sure you really ground your back down to the mat. Four, three, two. One coming up slowly. So the challenge is actually when you're coming up and bring it up. You need two and two. Down, down, and up. And up. Down. There you go. Remember, option if you bend your knees, you can just tap your heel. 
down to the floor and bring it away from your body. Try it. Down and up. So even maintaining this position requires a whole lot of stability in your core. One more time. Now, if you want, bring your hand to the side. Both legs. Four, three, two. You don't have to go any lower. It's coming up. Four, three, two, one. And again. Coming up. Same thing, option. You can bend your knees. Goes like this. Four, three, two, one. Coming up. And try again. All the way down. And coming up. Now, from here, hold it to 45 degrees. And gonna maintain there in this position. Shoulders relax, relax your neck. Pull it in, pull it in, pull your belly button in. Keep it tight. Hold there. In four, three, two, and one. Bring it in. Alright. Good job, everybody. We are going to cool down. So from here, let me just put the weights to the side. So if there's weights around you, make sure you are safe. Put it away, far from you. And now extend your legs down. And bring your arms up. Just kind of have a little bit of traction. Hold it there. So rest your abdominals. And now slowly drive your right knee into the chest. Bring it close. Switch over to the other side, get a leg. Pull it close to you. And now bring both knees into the chest. Put the knees and just rock it side to side. Kind of massage her lower back. And now this side, gonna bring it to the side and bring yourself up. Now bring your right leg to the front, left foot to the side. Now bring it to the front and hold there. Put a nice deep stretch in your hamstring. And switch over to the other side. Get yeah, the leg. And hold it here. And slowly rise up. Bring your feet sole to sole. And pinch from your hip. If this is a little bit too much, feel free to move your feet a little bit far, further to the front. Maintaining this position. And slowly come back. Cross your legs. One arm down, one arm up. Stretch the sides of the body. And switch over. And now just interlace your hands to the front. From your back. And interlace your hands to the back, palm facing in, open up the chest. And now this time, bring your hands up, palms forward, and palms pointing down. Open up your arms, open up the chest. Just kind of stretch your biceps. Now one arm cross over, bring it close to you. Switching over the other side. Arms, cross over and bring both arms up. Hold the elbow, chin up, chest up. Make sure your other palm is right in between your shoulder blades. And switch over the other side. And slowly release. Still hit to the sides. Kind of loosen up the tension around your sides of your neck. Switch over to the other side. Now slowly look down. Just gently look up, your palms together. And coming back to the center. And just kind of circle your head slowly, just to loosen up and switching over to the other side. Right, everybody. 
Thank you so much. I hope you guys uh, enjoy the whole session. That is a body toning class. So feel free to modify uh, at any point of time. If you want to look back, you want to try again. If you want to challenge yourself, feel free to choose ways a little bit heavier for you. So go at your own pace. Thank you so much. My name is Coach Ziri and I hope to see you guys on the next workout. Bye.